Bhagavad Gita chapter 3, chapter 4, text 3. Sai Bayam Maya Te Tiaya Yoga Prakta Puratana Bhakto Si Mesaka Seti Rashyam Hetat Uttamam That very ancient science of relationship with the Supreme is today told by me you because you are my devotee as well as my friend and can therefore understand the transcendental mystery of this science. So this is eternal, the process of yoga. The science of yoga is eternal and that leads to the relationship to the, with the Supreme. So that's, that kind of yoga is bhakti. And Krishna has explained it to Arjuna, that he has explained it, the science of yoga to Arjuna, because Arjuna can understand it. So that's also important. Like uh, how the yoga is moving in the parampara, it's moving to the people who are qualified. So it's in confidential in the, that sense that the, that the secrets of the practice is explained to someone who is who can understand it like uh, instead of misunderstanding and then uh, and then twisting the meaning meaning uh, yoga is explained to the people who can understand it that's important that's how it works so Teachers should be qualified. Qualified means that what uh, one is practicing in the proper lineage, on the proper tradition, the teacher always has the teacher, who has teacher, who has teacher, and so that the uh, and the, so that that the, like uh, that essence stays the same. It, uh, it doesn't get changed on the way. And students should be qualified also. So the teacher has the right to test the student, is the student qualified? Is the student uh, like uh, understanding the topic? Is the uh, student committed enough to actually carry it on? In that sense, you can say that the classical yoga is more rare and understand from this. It's open to everyone, but it's also very difficult to practice in that sense. It's not that simple. Bhagavad Gita Kitsai.